Today, guys, we're going to be looking at a couple of drugs that first hit the market as eye drops for the treatment of glaucoma. The name of these drugs is Bimatroprost and Latanoprost. Guys, believe it or not, a few years later, these drugs were being researched as a potential treatment for male pattern baldness. Sounds like quite a story, hey? Well, stay tuned to learn all about it. Hey guys, Leon here from HairGuard.com, where people who are worried about their hair loss go to regrow their hair. Guys, on this channel, we do tons of science-backed videos all about combating hair loss and regrowing healthy hair. So if you are new to the channel, do consider subscribing. And guys, if you're watching this video because you are personally worried about your own hair loss, then do make sure to click the link in the description to take the Hair Guard Hair Loss Quiz. You'll answer a few short and simple questions about yourself and your hair loss, then you'll receive free personalized expert advice on how to regrow healthy hair. So let's get into the video. So guys, Bimatroprost is a liquid medication that was first marketed in 2001 under the brand name Lumigan. Now Lumigan is sold as eye drops and is meant to treat high blood pressure in the eye, including glaucoma. Glaucoma is a very serious condition where the pressure in the eye increases. In the beginning, there are no symptoms, but if it isn't diagnosed and treated in time, it can cause serious problems, including blindness. Now, soon after Bimatropost hit the market, users started reporting an unexpected side effect. Their eyelashes actually grew longer, darker, and thicker. This led researchers to realize that Bimatropros could potentially be used to enhance the growth of the eyelashes, including for those patients with alopecia areata. And guys, in case you don't know what alopecia areata is, it's an acute form of hair loss that has very different characteristics to male pattern baldness. Its onset is rapid, it can strike at any age, affects both men and women, and above all is very unpredictable. It can affect the scalp, but it can also appear on the beard, eyelashes, eyebrows, as well as hairs in the body. In some cases, it can cause patients to lose every single hair on their body. So in December 2008, the drug was approved by the FDA to enhance the growth of eyelashes and was brought to the market under the name Lattice. Now, Lattice isn't exactly marketed for the treatment of alopecia areata per se, but for, quote, hypotrichosis of the eyelashes. This is a generic term that literally means little or no growth of hair, so it can be prescribed to patients with alopecia areata that affects the eyelashes or to healthy women who simply want richer eyelashes for cosmetic reasons. Just like Lumigan, Lattice is prescription only. So how exactly does Lattice accomplish the richer eyelashes? Well, Bimatroprost belongs to a class of drugs known as prostaglandin analogues. When we say that a drug is an analog of a molecule, it simply means that it resembles its structure and function. So a prostaglandin analog, like Bimatroprost, mimics the effects of prostaglandin on the hair follicles. Which obviously begs the question, what are prostaglandins? Prostaglandins are a group of hormone-like substances that our body naturally produces. They are very widespread, being found in almost all tissues. So, as you might have guessed, they are involved in numerous functions. These range from regulating the contraction and relaxation of muscles to processes like inflammation and blood pressure. In women, they're also involved in ovulation, menstruation, and labor. And, as we've been discovering over the last few decades, prostaglandins are also involved in regulating hair growth. You see, Bimatropost is not the first prostaglandin analogue to capture scientists' attention as a potential hair loss treatment. Latanoprost is an earlier prostaglandin analogue, marketed five years prior to Bimatropost. Like Bimatropost, it's prescribed for the treatment of glaucoma. And, just like Bimatropost, it was also found to stimulate the growth of eyelashes. Are you starting to see the pattern here? Predictably, latanoprost has also been studied as a treatment for male pattern baldness, with quite interesting results. A 2011 study out of Germany compared latanoprost to placebo in a group of men with mild to moderate androgenetic alopecia. The researchers found that after 24 weeks, latanoprost significantly increased hair density compared to the placebo group. The average increase in density was in the order of 22%. But what is particularly interesting is that the researchers did not observe an increase in the percentage of hairs in the anagen growth phase versus those intelligent. After 24 weeks, this fashion had not increased, leading the study authors to conclude that latanoprost had actually recruited new hairs into the growth phase. Too good to be true? Maybe, considering that there have been no other published studies of this kind with latanoprost. On the other hand, the study was randomized and double-blind, something which adds weight to the findings. 
So let's go back to Betema Prost for a minute. Remember, Betema Prost is sold in two different versions, Lumigan for glaucoma and Lattice for eyelashes. Allergan, the company that manufactures these two drugs, has conducted phase two clinical trials testing Bimatro Post for male pattern baldness. To the best of our knowledge, the results of these studies have not been published in a scientific journal, so it is not possible to have every single one of the details. But the company has released some of their results, and according to these releases, at 1% and 3% concentrations, Bimatro Post might slightly be more effective than topical minoxidil. The drug is still a long way from receiving FDA approval for pattern baldness, and we are not sure if Allergan are still pursuing licensing for this indication. But how about using Lattice on your scalp of label? Well, that's not going to happen. Lattice is intended to be used on the fragile eyelashes and is only 0.03% bimatric post. The concentrations Allergan has been researching for balding men are up to 10 times stronger. And since Lattice costs far more than generic minoxidil, the treatment would be prohibitively expensive. Not to mention, you'd need to find a doctor to prescribe it to you in the first place. And the same applies to Latanoprost, which is currently only sold for the treatment of glaucoma. Remember that study that we mentioned earlier that found out that the drug might have induced new hair growth in balding men? Well, that study actually used a formulation 20 times more powerful than the commercially available version of the drug. So guys, for the time being, neither of these drugs are treatment options for men with androgenetic alopecia. You can be sure that if that changes in the future, if there's any developments that bring these medications closer to marketing approval for boldness, then viewers of this channel will be the first to know about it. Guys, if you want to see any other videos on hair loss, then make sure to click the videos on the screen right now. This was Leon from HairGuard.com. Thank you.